My name is Kabeda Tafara. I am your epidemiology instructor. Today we'll see about introduction of epidemiology. Let us start about the definition of epidemiology. So epidemiology means it is a science which studies frequency, distribution, determinants of else, else and else related events in one population and application of this knowledge for promotion of health, prevention and control of disease. Let us start uh, some variables that important uh, variables which mentioned under definition of epidemiology. The first one is magnitude or frequency. Under epidemiology, it as a quantitative science quantifies the level of health event for appropriate planning and public health intervention. So based on number, we will evaluate the frequency or the magnitude based on that uh, number or figure we plan or we intervene the existing situation the other distribution who where when of course this is very important the occurrence of health and health events who is it under five children pregnant mother or old age old age people where the place, geographical area, is it island or lowland? When the time, when it occurs, as a time of rain season or after rain season or at the time of dry season. So this is very important to characterize the pattern of health problems in terms of time, place, and person. The other is determinant factor which may be a event characteristic or any definable entity that bring about change in else and else related conditions. So it refers why this is occurs in certain place. So it tells about factors. What factors that enhance the occurrence of disease or what factors that reduces the existing situation. The other is else and else related event. Epidemiology is concerned not only disease but event like birth, death, migration, accident, malnutrition, and so on. So it grasps or it touch all issues that uh, associated with health and health related events. The other is population. In epidemiology and in clinical medicine, the difference is in clinical, it more focused about in the patient, but in the population, I mean, uh, in the epidemiology part, it is con concerned about collective health of the people in a community or a population. So it more focused about a group of peoples or communities. The other is application. Epidemiology is an applied science. The ultimate purpose of all epidemiology activities and studies is prevention and control of health problems. Imagine. The main purpose of epidemiology is prevention and control of health problems. So it's more focused about prevention. What does it mean community? Community means it is refers to a group of people who share the same things in common. Like religion, social activity, workplace, and so on. What's the difference between community diagnosis and clinical diagnosis? Clinical diagnosis is more focused about the patient. Community diagnosis more focused about for the given community, but clinical it's more focused about the patient. So it may be broad or narrow scope, uh, maybe it will be single topic or a single subgroup. So community diagnosis is more focused about in the community issues. The other community medicine, it is a system of delivery of comparative, uh, this comprehensive health care to the people by health team to improve the health of the community. Whereas clinical medicine, medical care for individual, individual are sick people who have presented for help. In community medicine, the community replaces the individual patient as a primary focus of the concern. The scope of 
epidemiology it touch about epidemics non communicable diseases at present epidemiology methods are being applied to infectious and non infectious diseases injuries accident nutritional deficiencies mental disorders mental and child deaths congenital anomalies cancer occupational ills environmental ills health behavior and so on so the scope is it's broad the basic assumption in epidemiology there is two basic assumptions disease occurs in human population it not random or by chance so the the occurrence of diseases depends on variation in exposure of individuals in a population to the cause of diseases that are commonly behavioral or environmental diseases so it's more commonly behavioral as well as environmental diseases if the disease occurs randomly it means that we would each be equally likely to be develop any disease during our lifetime that's the reason human disease as casual and prevention factors the scope or the application the use of uh, or the, appli uh, the application of epidemiology it explains the natural history of disease describes the health status of the population establish causation in of the causation of disease and provide understanding of what cause or sustain disease in populations decision making in clinical medicine guide health and health care policy and planning uh, that evaluates the intervention programs classify disease here a comparison between clinical medicine and epidemiology so there is epidemiological part and clinical medicine so uh, this is the what uh, makes their differences just observe them so the major approach in epidemiology there is descriptive epidemiology and analytical epidemiology as the name implies descriptive means just it is described based on frequency distribution of disease in terms of time place person so it answers who where and when by describing this information the other is analytical epidemiology it involves this is involves explicit comparison of groups of individuals to identify determinants of health and disease so what factors that cause the disease so it compares the outcome with the factor so we identify these cases by different approach by using case reports case rays laboratory studies descriptive uh, epidemiological studies other analytical studies will come on this topic that the cause of disease defined as a factor event condition characteristic or behavior that influence the occurrence of disease induction period induction period it's a time between causal action and disease initiation latent period it is a time between disease occurrence and detection if the disease does not develop without the factor being present then we term the causative factor that's necessary if the disease always result from the factor when we term that as sufficient so types of causal relationships necessary and sufficient without factor the disease never develops with the factor disease always develops this situation rarely occurs as in some cases like TB necessary but not sufficient in the absence of the factor the disease does not occur and the factor alone is not sufficient to cause a disease for example tb mycobacterium tuberculosis is necessary to cause a disease of tb but this mycobacterium tuberculosis by its own cannot cause a disease it needs about some factors so it means that it is necessary but not sufficient so in the absence of the factor the disease does not occur and the factor alone is not sufficient to cause the disease 
So necessary and sufficient is very important to develop TV. The other is sufficient but not necessary. The factor alone can cause a disease, but so can other factors in its absence, like rabies virus. Under rabies virus, the microorganisms or the viruses, it is sufficient to cause a death or disease without any factor. The other is necessary, sufficient, or uh, the other is neither sufficient nor necessary. The factor cannot cause a disease on its own, nor its only factors can cause a disease. This is a probably a model for chronic disease, a shape. There is different theories of disease cause. The first supernatural theory, germ theory, environmental ecological theory, multifactorial causational theory. Under this supernatural theory, in the early past, the disease was through mainly due to either the curse of God or due to the evil force of the demon. So this is due to the result of the God or the evil force. But Hippocrates separates the, the discipline of medicine from religion. So he believed and convinced and argued with uh, that disease was not punishment uh, is inflicted by God, but rather the product of environmental factors, diet and living habits. So these factors can cause a disease, not the supernatural. The single germ theory, the beliefs about each disease will be caused by germ. Without the germ, the disease will not be caused. In the other environmental theory, it holds that a significant number of chronic diseases are caused by toxins in the environment. It implies that disease prevention instead of required personal change or medical treatment demands change in industrial production. So environmental pollution as a factor for development of disease. According to uh, this Peter and Koffer, there is multifactorial causation. He stated that agent, host, and environment factors are a factor that contribute to the development of the disease. So these factors will act and interact synergistically and act as joint independent partners in causing a disease. So like agents, virus, bacteria, parasites, and other microbes, host factor, immunity, neurological response, host favor, like smoking, drug abuse, sexual practice, lifestyle issues are host factors. The other environmental factors, biological environment, physical environment, social environment, these all are contribute for the development of disease when they are dismantled their equilibrium. So the pathway may be direct or indirect. So A causes B without intermediate effect or indirect, this indirect causation, A causes B, but with intermediate effect. In human biology, intermediate steps are virtually always present in many causal process. So the model of causation, there is different approach. The model is all purposely simplified in the presentation of here, like epidemiological triad model, the well model, the wave of causation model, or this Rosman component cause model. Under epidemiological triad, this triangle or triad model, the epidemiological triangle consists of three components, host, environment, and agent. A change in any of the components will alter the existing equilibrium to increase or decrease the frequency of the disease. The other example, like, uh, when the disease causation under agent factor, host factor, environmental factor, when there are dismount or the disbalance among them, they cause about a disease. The other is a well model, uh, a well model approach. This is one of the method of the approach. They observe is about genetic makeup as its own core. So surrounding the host environment, biological, physical, social. Uh, this is a factor for genetic course. 
So hereditary disease like sickle cell anemia, glucose 6 phosphate deficiencies, this genetic core will large here. So the measles influenza, the state of immunity of the host, biological environment will contribute more here. So here is an example. The other is the wave of causation model. Under this, the wave of causation uh, was specially developed to enhance understanding chronic disease. This is direct or indirect complex. So there is some more interactions. So numbers, uh, there is number of factors that interact is greater than or decrease or less than risk of disease. So this is a wave of causation of a major cardiovascular disease. There is different factors that develop about this uh, major cardiovascular disease, like hormone, estrus, diet, physical activity, hereditary, and so on. The other Osman component causes model, there is several com combination of causal components are needed for produce apathetical disease. So under the set of components of like initiating the disease process, there is sufficient uh, that one always results a disease while necessary because one that must be present but might not be the cause of the disease to develop. So the other word is necessary causes is a component cause that is a, a member of every sufficient cause. So here is an example of the, this causal pi model figures. So each component causes uh, or this each component of sufficient causes called component of causes. Epidemiologists tend to refer to component as a cause because the outcome will not occur by the path where if any one of the components is missing within a given sufficient cause of model. So it is not necessary to identify all of the component causes in order to prevent the disease. So there may be a number of sufficient causes for a given disease or outcome. Level of disease occurrence, there is different level of disease occurrence like expected level, endemic level, hyperendemic, sporadic. When endemic, the presence of disease, more or less stable, hyperendemic, the presence of high level of occurrence. Sporadic, it occurs occasionally, but irregular interval. The other is excess or what is expected. Epidemic, it is occurrence of the disease exceed of what is expected in limited period. Outbreak means epidemic of short duration covering a more limited areas. Pandemic, it is epidemic spread over uh, several countries or continents affect a large group of people like uh, COVID-19. So there is different factors that uh, contribute to the causation of disease like, like predisposing factor, enabling factor, precipitating factors, reinforcing factors. So this is a factor that contributes to the occurrence of disease. There is different level of disease prevention like primordial prevention. It is action and measurement that inhibits the emergence of establishment of social and economical conditions that are known to contribute that elevate risk of disease. So it's direct before the initiation of disease. It can target can be general population or selected group. The other is primary prevention. It is the production of health. This is the product, the protection of health by personal or community wide factors like preserving good nutritional status, immunization, environmental hygiene, modification, and so on. This is an, that's direct before the initiation of disease. It targets general population or selected risk of uh, risk groups. The other is uh, secondary prevention. It's more focused about cure of disease and prevention more serious consequences through uh, early detection and treatment, like treatment of trachoma and so on. The other is tertiary prevention. This is initiation, reduce mitigation, clinical progress, or exacerbation of diagnosis disease. This is an important aspect of therapeutic and rehabilitating medicine, rehabilitation, psychological, economical, and so on. So it targets about population established patients. So this is all about for today's session. For the next time, we'll see uh, about other part of epidemiology. Until that, stay safe. Thank you.